Hey, I'm Clayton Anderson, and you're watching Country Music Minute. Growing up in Bedford, Indiana definitely has had a huge influence on my music. Uh, just from the relationships that I, I saw, that I was in, uh, to the way the community takes care of one another, the hardworking people. Obviously, it's a blue collar, uh, small town, and uh, it's, it's throughout everything that I've ever written or, or sung about. There's, there's something from home in there. Yeah, it's true. I, I still have a 812 area code number so my grandma can call me. She obviously, I think she just got a cell phone. It's one of those, not like a Verizon cell phone, but she's got a cell phone now. But yeah, she still calls me from the landline. Still rocking that landline. I can't have, I mean, you don't want to call collect, you know, to 615. So yeah, I'm still with the 812. Uh, you know, I didn't know for sure until college that I really wanted to pursue music. I really got hooked on it then. I, I've always loved music. Music was always around, whether my mom was playing Elvis Presley records or my dad was playing his Kiss or Aerosmith stuff. Um, my grandma had the Conway Twitty rocking all the time. So I loved it and I was always kind of a ham and liked entertaining people and being stupid and silly. But uh, then I got, into, I got into college and picked up the guitar and We'd start having late night after parties at the house, at the apartment, and and I was like, man, and then just kind of progressed and progressed and progressed, and I stopped going to class and started laying out later at the bars, playing music, and not until 2008 uh, when we got to open up for Kenny Chesney that I was like, man, I'm going to do this. I've got to do this. I don't want to have any regrets. So I burnt everything. I burnt all my ships, and I put everything into it, and now here we are right now. You know, I think being an artist is, uh, is really important. I think you have to be true to yourself. I think you have to be who you are. Not all the time. I mean, obviously, David Bowie played characters, and, and, and there's been a lot of people who've played a character. But, but for me, it's just I'm not a great actor, so it's just it's easy to live the truth and, and to speak the truth and, instead of trying to do something that I'm not or live something that I'm not. And... Uh, and true, and, and also, you know, I, I've always wanted to be a good role model and, and not do, you know, I think in today's media world and, and entertainment world, the more, you know, the crazier you can be, the more out there you can do, the more scandalous things you, you can do will get you, grab you headlines and grab you attention. And, and it's, it's smart, it's, it's smart, but, you know, at the end of the day, I would rather be happy with myself knowing that I did it my way and was true to me than trying to be somebody that I wasn't. I think that's the, the greatest thing about performing music, writing music, uh, is, is that moment where you have an idea. Uh, it's always an idea for me. Uh, it could be a lyric, it could be a melody, and, and the song can change so much from, from point A to ending on the record. And sometimes, you know, you can even mess it up. There, there were a couple of songs on these, uh, this EP that I ended up kind of redoing because when, after listening and listening and listening, it's just, oh, it's just not there. And, and, and we're so live show driven and, and performing it every night. I know how I want it to be. It's, it's so hard to capture that in a, in a recording, in a, in a session. Um, so you just got to be patient and work with it. Uh, obviously, I wanted this EP to come out early, uh, late summer, early early fall, but that didn't happen because we just kept kept grinding at it. But I'm really happy with how it all turned out. So, uh, and then you release them into the world, and they they fly away, and it's uh, it's pretty crazy to uh, to see the reaction. It's it's really gratifying and fulfilling. You know, I think when you open up for acts who are at the top of their career, at the height of their career, like Kenny Chesney, like Darius Rucker. You, you learn so much. You, you see how they handle their business. It is a business at the end of the day. You see how they treat people, how they treat their fans, how they treat people on the road with them, how they treat their band. And they go out and do it every night, and they're on point every night, and they're given that same energy that they're given to Cleveland that they gave to Cincinnati, Ohio the night before. And that's professionalism that just you, you stand back and you watch those things, and, and that's the cool... That, Obviously, I've become a ticket snob since being in country music and playing it. I've been very fortunate, but there's nothing like standing on the side stage. I mean, even we got to open up for 
Leonard Skinner and to sit there side stage and watch that. I mean, it's just those are experiences that you can, I mean, unbelievable. And I think, oh, I mean, if you really are passionate about it, you're going to, you're obviously going to steal from them. You're going to learn. You're going to, oh, yeah, I should do that. I mean, every, every, I think every person uh, obviously does that. So that's, that's the coolest, that's the coolest thing. You know, I, I'm inspired by all kinds of music. I, I love all genres, uh, hip hop, country. I mean, 90s rock and roll is still some of my favorite stuff ever. Um, but, you know, an artist like George Strait, who just puts hit after hit after hit after hit out, um, even an artist like Garth Brooks that you look up to, artists like Johnny Cash, who had all kinds of ups and downs and, and throughout his career and, and had a huge high late, very late on in his career. Uh, those are people that I look to, that Merle Haggard even out there on the road. Willie Nelson still out on the road just putting it in every night. Those, those are artists that I look up to and, and, and find inspiration. And, and even, you know, even being at a Justin Timberlake concert last year, in spot, like just being there and feeling the energy and the excitement just inspires you so much, you know, and, and it keeps you, uh, keeps you motivated. Once you, uh, it makes me want to do better. It makes me want to give a better show. It makes me want to reach further, dig deeper.